Oh boy, this should be a fun one. Queens of the Stone Age, no one knows. Campfire, but before we get going, I would like to introduce you to my new friend on the tube. His name is the Wood Veteran. He used to carry a big gun for the military, but he's done a 180 with his life, and he's now a master woodsmith. That's funny because Smith is the last name. Wood McGillicuddy, craftsman of furniture, and his big goal literally in life is to give away as much furniture that he makes as he possibly can. I highly encourage you to go check out his heartfelt story. Stage right there and no strings attached. He is giving away a really, really cool coffee table that he made with his own hands. All you have to do is comment on that video. Without any further ado, here we go. For me, this is just about as fun as the real thing in a slightly different way without having to tune your guitar down two whole steps. Put your capo on the third fret and play an A minor. This is actually a C minor and that's the key of this song, but we're still gonna call it A minor. Give me four staccato A minors. Followed by an epic slide down. And then we're back into our A minor, but grab the B string third fret with your pinky finger. Let it fall down to the first fret where it naturally is on your A minor chord and then plug the G string just how it is on the second fret. Those are the notes you want to accentuate, but you want to get a little loose with it when you're strumming. And those harmonics are on the 12th fret relative to the capo, actual 15th fret of the E and the B strings. There's a few spots in this song where I'm going to give you a couple different options and this is one of those spots. If that E, S, D is giving you fits and interrupting your flow, you can substitute that with the E string third fret with your pinky finger. It's not exactly the same, but it fills the space and it serves a similar function like this. Grab your A minor chord and we're going to alternate, if you can, between the bass note and the rest of the chord in sets of four. One, two, three, four. But on the fourth one, instead of just that down strum on the rest of the chord, let's make the B string go one, three. One, two, three, four. fourth set of four I like to just strum away and we're going to an E chord but let's add the pinky finger to the B string third fret that makes it an E7 and then there's no way around it G sharp is a bar chord relative to the capo four six six five back to the intro and I could have just gone open E G2, but sometimes it's hard to be that careful with your plucking. Plus, it's fun to move away from the bottom of the guitar. So I slid up to B relative to the capo 5 and D relative to the capo 7. There's the badubada dubada fill, which we're missing one syllable for because the first note is below where our capo is, but we can represent most of it if we go E open 1 3, A open, E3, E open. It sounds better faster and in context. And who could forget the one which I am opting to do in a lower octave on our A minor chord if you hammer on to the D string from open to two, pluck the G string, and then the A string. course is a bit of a mission. There's lots of great options. I'm going to present them all to you and you can pick your favorite. The notes relative to the capo are A, B, C, B, D, C, E, D into your E chord. So you could do it just like that as single notes. A string, open, two, three, two, D open, A three, D two, D open. Into your E chord, that is option one. Option two is just play A minor for that whole mess before you switch to E. I realize I have a feeling there's
there's going to be a lot of takers for that one. There's the octave chord method, which is how it's done in the song, and it's not my favorite option for the campfire version, but you might want to do it, especially if someone else is singing. We're going to start with our A power chord, though, because it's hard to make octave chords down here. But then we're going to move right to our octave shape. It's going to be A2, G4. The shape won't change, so I'll call out this fret. This fret will move along in kind. Two, three, two, five, three, seven, five. So, and so forth. We could take half of those notes out and keep it as chords. Play your A minor. Step two would be middle finger migrates up to the A string second fret. Then C, then D minor before you hit E. some notes but that fills it out perfectly fine but my favorite way that I've come up with takes that run of notes and does it in the higher octave while you're holding an A minor chord we're gonna have G2 B open 1 open 3 1 E open B3 as we get strummier with this we kind of lose some of those notes but I think that's okay Probably my favorite thing about the chorus, which I neglected to mention, is however you took care of that run over or under the A minor chord, or just the A minor chord, once we get to the E chord, we want our ring and middle fingers to go on and off and on and off and on and off. So. Then we have the bridge where you can keep doing the same thing that we were just doing with the E chord over the A minor chord. But I prefer just to strum away here because we have enough to think about with that little run. Which is going to be D2, 3, G1, D2, D open, D2. campfire and everybody's having a good time I'm gonna do that little bass line that happens right after that section here's a move for you grab the E string third fret pluck down and give it a hammer on to the fifth fret then up down pluck hammer up down up down to do that pluck hammer up down because as you get faster that's the only way it's gonna work the solo section is just wailing away on an a minor chord but if you don't have a drunken kazooist at your campfire here's something you can do to fill up that space if you like take your regular a minor chord by the way this is not in the song i just came up with this on my own take your a minor chord and then let's flat this D string note, that means move it that way, by one. So we'll have a D shape on the wrong strings in the wrong frets. D1, G2, B1. That's like A minor with a flat fifth. And then back to our regular A minor. And this time let's flat the G string note by one. So we'll have B1, G1, D2. That is a note that is featured in the song from the... Right, and the and the E major chord, the G sharp relative to the capo. Anyways, regular A minor, A minor with a flat fifth, regular A minor, A minor with a, G, a major seventh in it. Goes nicely back into. 
And those are all the pieces to No One Knows Campfire. Thank you so much for being here for this one. I thought that was fun. I hope you thought it was helpful. My buddy's video should be popping up here in one of these corners, and I have a much more nefarious purpose for introducing him to you. But that's for another day. I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.